So, let's look at how to create a saddle stitch booklet in Affinity Publisher. A saddle stitch booklet, in case you're not really aware of it, is one of those booklets that has staples uh, holding it together. Um, and they can be produced in various ways, and there's quite a, a lot of talk about them, and quite a lot of information on them. But simply put, this one here is an eight page, that's eight uh, pages that you can put something on, which are ideal for brochures, um, travel, uh, travel booklets, and suitably ideal for children's booklets, because they're easy to produce, you can make them at home. So let's have a look. In the printing industry, saddle stitching refers to a very popular book binding method in which folded sheets are gathered together, one inside the other, and then stapled through the fold line with wire staples. And it's called saddle stitching because when they're stitched in a printing works, they're usually placed on a device that looks like a thing that holds a saddle and then the stapler staples the sheets. It makes it very easy. Hence the name saddle stitching because the thing they're stapled on looks like a saddle holder. Now this is a template, if you like, that you can use time and time again. You'll need Affinity Publisher and if you want to put graphics on there, Affinity Designer or Affinity Photo. Now if it's a kid's book, of course, you're going to have graphics. So if you are lucky enough to have all three items loaded with Affinity Publisher, then you don't even really need to leave Publisher because you can access Photo and Designer from within Publisher. Now this tutorial is suitable for beginner to intermediate users of the software. It's really easy. And you'll find the finished file on my download site, which is listed in the um, YouTube description, which is below this video. Step one. You should be used to this by now. File, new, and my presets. Now we're only going to use print for this one, and the print, because it's going through a printer, will be CMYK, and we'll get to that. You only use RGB if you're doing digital. With this preset created, you'll have a model for any further books you want to create. Now, with the window open, fill in the details as shown in this next image. As I say, you'll find the downloadable file mentioned in the YouTube description. So we're looking at, actually, what is physically an A4 sheet here in landscape mode. Now you can use any other size paper you like, but you then have to find the centers and the margins and things like that. But that's easily done. So for this A4 page in landscape mode, now the number of pages are four. That's four physical sheets of paper, which will be printed on both sides, which gives you eight pages. Now you have to be careful with saddle stitch books. If you make them too thick, they don't close properly, and I'm sure you've all come across things like that. Now, there's no facing pages. It's um, the default master, CMYK colouring. The margins are 5 millimetres, and the bleed is 3 millimetres. Very easy. Now, click the plus sign right at the top to create a master preset if you like and then right click on that preset and rename it saddle stitch a4 based four pages you can see i've got it there right on the bottom of the list now here's our document set with a single landscape a4 page of course having created your preset you then click on create and tap on create this is our primary document set up and ready for content now we're going to put two A5 size pages per sheet or page. So an A4 page in landscape is two A5s. Very easy. Now there's one master, and you can see there, and four pages. Couldn't be simpler. And the margins show all around. Of course, that doesn't print. Now, place a page center guide. This is the staple line. That also won't show up. Now if you drag out a, a guide, make sure you turn guides on 
and turn the guide manager on. Drag a guide out from the side and when you get to the centre line there, which I think is 148.5, it will change colour to a, to a green, I think it is, green or red, that and, and snap to it, to the centre, which informs you that you're at the centre of the page. Now you need that because either side of that centre line, you need two other guides. They're our inner margins. And they're five millimetres either side of the centre margin. So the square on the left is a page and the square on the right is a page. There are two pages per sheet. Now place page number boxes on each page so you can keep track of your pages. Now this is where the tricky bit with saddle stitched books comes in. When, especially when you do them like this. If you send them to a print works, they'll look after all of the page ordering and everything. But this tutorial is designed for people who want to print them out from home. And I'll tell you all about that in a minute. You don't want to send it to the printers. You've got a really good printer that you've paid a fortune for. And ink, well, you practically have to take out a mortgage on your house to buy ink for some of these printers. So you really want to use them. And here's how you do it. Note the page number positions and counts. Now you can see the detailed diagram in the next slide. You can see on the right hand side you've got page 1 and on the left hand side is page 8. What? You say page 8? Yes, this is how it's done. Let's have a look at it. Now, this layout is known as a printer spread and it's the one we use. Now printer spreads are set up just like that, page 1, page 8, page 7, page 2, page 3, page 6, page 5, page 4. Ta-da! The one slightly to the right of it is an 8-page eight, eight imposition setup. Now, this you might use on A3 sheets of paper where you can get 4 sheets, or 4 pages per sheet. And it's the same type of format we used in the little hot dog zine that we mentioned that we did earlier in an earlier video. And I made that one so you can use it in a school with one A4 sheet of paper. Gives you eight little pages. You can fold them up and do what you like with them. They're very easy for kids to make. The one on the left, the printer spreads. That's the one we're doing. So when you go through your pages, the four pages that you set up in Publisher, put your page markers in, page one and page eight. Now, page one is actually... A cover page if you're not going to do a separate cover which mm, which yes you can do that's easy but if you want to make page one your cover page put your cover picture on it if you want to make page eight your back page or your back cover then put a back cover picture on it and in fact you could put a graphic right across both those pages so that when the books folded over it's the same graphic front and back Two, seven, six, three, and four, five are your inside pages in that case. I'm sure you can figure that out. Now, before we finish up, let me show you how to print this document out. You can see I've got page one. Page two is numbered two and seven, six and three, and four and five. Now, how do we do this in order? Go up here to File, go to Export, uh, Unresolved Pre-Flight Errors, just ignore those and continue for the moment. Goodness knows what's in there. There's PDF, PDF for Export, that'll do. Um, we don't want to rest, just leave the thing, all pages, just leave us as it is for this, time, for this moment. Now we've got Export, Saddle Stitch A4, 4x2 pages, save. Now here's our document. You can see down there 8, 1, 2, 7 and so forth. Now how do we get, that's page 1 again, how do we print it out? Let's have a look. Print. Now I'm going to print to the just the plain black and white series printer. I don't want to print booklet, multiple or poster, just the size. Now I want to print all pages, more options, 
Now nearly every printer I've come across has these options but sometimes you have to hunt around for them. Odd pages only. So that's one, page one and three. That's page one, remember? The big one, page one. It's think, it thinks it's printing A4 sheets. So odd pages only. Don't want to worry about shrinking oversized pages. None of that at the moment. It's in landscape mode. So let's send that to the printer. Now that takes a moment to think about that because Adobe is not the fastest piece of software on the block. Now what I can't show you in the video is that when that prints out I've got to reverse the order on my printer that they print out because it prints page one and page two. But when I put them back in, I've got to not only reverse them so that they go back in to the printer the right way, but I've got to put the last printed one first because it prints them out in reverse order on this printer. So you might end up going through a few pages. Now just a moment while I turn them over. Now here we go again, file, print, go to more options, it doesn't remember that. Now even pages only, we're going to print just the even pages, page 2 and page 4. If I put those in the printer the right way around, they'll print in the correct order. And that's all there is to that. So you can do that. At school, you can do it in your club, you can do it at home. And there's only two sheets of A4 you're messing about with. So if you feed them back in the paper feeder, it's really easy to get them the right way around. And did I get, did I get them the right way around? We'll soon see. Page 1. Page 2, page 3, page 4. I can't show you this unfortunately because I don't have a camera. But A4 sheets of paper folded down the middle. And I could staple them with a long arm stapler. Page 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And they came out in the right order. That's all there is to it. So you print them into a PDF file and then just print everything, odd pages first, turn them around, even pages second. Have fun, don't forget to subscribe. So, have fun designing your own booklets. Now remember, when you have those pages printed out, print all pages in your PDF file and you'll see how they come up. Now the trick when you print these and I should have put it on here for you to look at. But I'm sure every printer in the world is different. But when you send it to your printer from um, the Adobe Reader, print all of the odd pages first. So it'll print page one and page three first. You'll get two sheets of paper come out. Take them out of the printer, flip them over and feed them back in and then print all the even pages. Odd pages first, even pages second. And that will print on the other side of the sheet, so you've, and then when you fold them in the middle and staple them, your pages will be in the right place. That's not too difficult to figure out, I'm sure. Remember to subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.